The position adjacent to a carbonyl is known as the alpha position. And this center can be nucleophilic because of the stabilizing effect of the neighboring carbonyl. As a result, the alpha carbon can react with electrophiles, such as bromine. This leads to alpha bromination, which can occur in acid or in base via distinct mechanisms. Carboxylic acids can also be brominated in the alpha position under slightly different conditions. These conditions employ phosphorus tribromide and bromine. Alternatively, you will sometimes see phosphorus being mixed with bromine, which generates phosphorus tribromide in situ. The net result of the reaction is the installation of a bromine at the alpha carbon. Let's take a look at the mechanisms for these processes, beginning with the acidic alpha bromination of ketones or aldehydes. Acidic alpha halogenation begins with tautomerization to the enol, and that occurs through a two-step mechanism in acid. First, the carbonyl oxygen is protonated. Then, a proton is lost from the alpha carbon. And as this occurs, electrons flow onto the carbonyl oxygen to generate the enol form of the original ketone or aldehyde. To understand why the enol is nucleophilic on the alpha carbon, we need only examine the resonance structures of the molecule. Electron density can be pushed onto the alpha center, which means that this center bears a partial minus charge in the resonance hybrid. The attack of the alpha carbon on bromine will result in the cleavage of the bromine-bromine bond. The bromide that was displaced during this process then removes a proton from the oxonium ion. The alpha brominated ketone or aldehyde results as the final reaction product. The basic halogenation of ketones or aldehydes begins with formation of the enolate. This occurs when hydroxide removes a proton from the alpha carbon and electrons ultimately flow onto the carbonyl oxygen. This enolate has resonance that shows the nucleophilic character of the alpha carbon. So attack of the enolate on bromine installs the alpha bromine and displaces bromide in the process. The alpha bromination of carboxylic acids is sometimes referred to as the hell volhard zelinsky or HVZ reaction. It begins with the attack of the carbonyl oxygen on the electron-poor phosphorus of phosphorus tribromide. A bromide is displaced in the process. The displaced bromide subsequently attacks the carbonyl carbon, pushing the pi electrons onto oxygen. The resultant tetrahedral intermediate collapses to displace a good leaving group. To shorten the mechanism, the loss of a proton is shown concurrently rather than in a separate mechanistic step. The result is an acid bromide, which is similar to the acid chlorides that we have learned about in previous videos. The acid bromide tautomerizes more readily than the original carboxylic acid. And this is important because as we saw earlier in this presentation, it is the enol tautomer that is reactive at the alpha center. 
the enol form has nucleophilic character at the alpha carbon, so it can therefore attack bromine. During the process, bromide is displaced, and that displaced bromide will remove a proton from the oxonium ion so as to yield the alpha halogenated acid bromide. During the second step of the reaction, water is added. And this hydrolyzes the acid bromide in much the same way that an acid chloride reacts with water. If you would like to see the complete mechanism for the process, refer to the video on the nucleophilic acyl substitution of acid chlorides. The final reaction product is the alpha halogenated carboxylic acid. Now let's turn our attention to some specific examples, beginning with the treatment of propiophenone with bromine and acid to achieve alpha bromination. The reaction begins with protonation of the carbonyl oxygen. This enhances the acidity of the alpha protons because loss of an alpha proton will allow electrons to ultimately be pushed onto the oxonium ion, thereby neutralizing its charge. The enol form results from this tautomerization. The enol is nucleophilic on the alpha carbon and it can therefore attack bromine. This cleaves the bromine-bromine bond and displaces bromide. The oxonium ion that is formed subsequently loses a proton to bromide to complete the reaction, yielding the alpha brominated ketone. In the next example, propiophenone is treated with bromine and base. This reaction proceeds a bit differently though. In base, it is difficult to stop after a single bromination. So it is the dibrominated product that is obtained from this reaction. The reaction begins with deprotonation of the alpha position by hydroxide. Electrons ultimately flow onto the carbonyl oxygen, forming an enolate. The enolate thus formed nucleophilically attacks bromine to install the first halogen at the alpha carbon. But the alpha center is now more acidic than it was originally due to the electron withdrawing effect of the bromine atom, which weakens the remaining carbon-hydrogen bond. Consequently, a second deprotonation proceeds even more readily, forming a new enolate. This new enolate will also attack bromine installing a second bromine at the alpha position and expelling bromide. At this point, no additional alpha protons remain, so the reaction must come to a halt. This final example is a hell volhard zelinsky reaction of a carboxylic acid which yields the alpha-brominated carboxylic acid. In the first mechanistic step, the carbonyl oxygen attacks phosphorus tribromide. This is the first step toward activating the carbonyl oxygen as a good leaving group. The bromide that was expelled during the first mechanistic step then attacks the carbonyl carbon, pushing pi electrons onto oxygen to neutralize its charge. The tetrahedral intermediate thus formed then collapses to expel a good leaving group. 
This yields an acid bromide as a reaction intermediate. The acid bromide that was generated in the first phase of the mechanism now readily tautomerizes, yielding some of the enol. The enol, being nucleophilic on the alpha center, can then attack bromine, cleaving the bromine-bromine bond and installing the halogen adjacent to the carboxylic acid. The bromide that was displaced then removes a proton from the oxonium ion so as to afford a neutral product. Finally, the acid bromide is hydrolyzed during the second step of the reaction when water is added to the mixture. This generates the ultimate reaction product, an alpha brominated carboxylic acid. In summary, ketones or aldehydes can be brominated in the alpha position under acidic or basic conditions. When there is only a single alpha proton, both reactions provide the same product. However, when more than one alpha proton exists, acidic bromination will yield a monobromination product, while basic conditions will lead to exhaustive bromination at the alpha position. Carboxylic acids can engage in a similar reaction known as the hell volhard zelinsky reaction. And this entails treatment of the carboxylic acid with phosphorus tribromide and bromine. Phosphorus tribromide converts the carboxylic acid to its acid bromide. The acid bromide then tautomerizes more readily, allowing for subsequent reaction with bromine. And upon aqueous workup, the acid bromide is hydrolyzed and the product is the alpha halogenated carboxylic acid. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.